Last time, we learned about 2px atomic orbitals overlapping to form a sigma 2p and a sigma star 2p. But recall that there are two more possible p orbital orientations, 2py and 2pz. Looking at a 3D axis, a 2py orbital falls on the y axis and a 2pz orbital falls on the z axis. What is true about the 2py and 2pz orbitals? 2py and 2pz have the same energy. All three of the 2p orbitals have the same energy. But these two are also completely interchangeable, since the 3D axis that determine their name can be placed in any orientation. So as we go over examples using the 2py orbital, remember that everything we say about 2py is also true about 2pz. Here again are our two atoms, each of which has a valence 2py orbital. They also have 2x, 2px, and 2pz orbitals. But let's focus on the 2py orbitals for this discussion. When these two atoms come closer together, the 2py atomic orbitals overlap. Notice how the positive lobe on the top of the 2py orbital of this atom overlaps with the positive lobe on the top of the 2py orbital of the other atom. What type of behavior will this overlap have? That's right, these two lobes are overlapping in phase, and so we get constructive interference. They add together and get bigger. The same thing is true about the two negative phase lobes. They're also overlapping with each other in phase, which leads to constructive interference. So, the lobes above the internuclear axis, the x-axis, add together constructively, and the lobes below the internuclear axis do too. But what about along that internuclear axis, the plane in which the two nuclei sit? Remember, p orbitals have nodal planes between their two lobes. Here, that nodal plane is on the x-axis. Node means zero amplitude, and zero plus zero is zero. The nodal plane extends the entire length of the molecule. Voila, we have our new molecular orbital. But what should we call it? Though this molecular orbital does strongly resemble a pretty depressing meatball sandwich, that's not what chemists decided to name it. Also, since there's no cylindrical rotational symmetry, sigma's not the right name either. This is a new shape that we haven't seen before. We call it pi. And yes, it does sort of look like a meatball sub. This orbital is called pi 2p. Which of the following are characteristics of a pi 2p orbital? As we said, a pi orbital has a nodal plane along the nuclear axis. Also, since it's bigger in size, we know that it will have lower energy compared to the 2py atomic orbital. However, like we said, pi 2p is not cylindrically symmetrical. Picture it like this. If you were to put a skewer through a meatball sub from end to end and rotate it around, you'll be able to tell if the sub was upside down, sideways, or right side up. Since you can tell how the sub is oriented, that means that it's not cylindrically symmetrical. Let's explore what happens when two 2py orbitals overlap out of phase. Which image shows two 2py orbitals overlapping out of phase? That's right, this drawing shows the overlap of two 2py orbitals that are out of phase. Notice that the top lobes of each of the atomic 2py orbitals are opposite. That means that they will experience destructive interference or cancelling. The same is true of the lobes below. Which image shows the molecular orbital that results from two 2py orbitals overlapping out of phase? Together, both destructive interference interactions lead to a new nodal plane this time between the two nuclei. This is antibonding, so we call this molecular orbital pi star 2p. Notice that while there are four lobes to this orbital, there are still only two nuclei. What is true about the energy of pi star 2p molecular orbitals? That's right, pi star 2p orbitals are higher in energy than both 2p atomic orbitals and pi 2p molecular orbitals since their wavelength is shorter. Also, look at all those nodal planes. So there you have it. When the two 2py orbitals of neighboring atoms overlap, you get two new molecular orbitals, pi 2p and pi star 2p. But as we mentioned earlier, the exact same thing will happen for the 2pz orbitals. It's important to remember that 2py and 2pz are different due to their orientation in space, but otherwise, their natures and behaviors are identical.